Hello, this is John with Theology Ed. This is part four of the Donnie Darko series. If you haven't watched the first three parts, I do recommend you go back and take a look at them. I think there's a lot uh, there that's valuable uh, to understanding the last 20 years, what's been going on, uh, and what they were putting in predictive programming at that time related to 9-11, uh, how this is all tied into their ritual magic and rabbits and hurricanes and odd stuff, uh, interesting things. Um, and But more or less why we had the 9-11 attack and then it seemed to sort of stop. And then in 2020, things pick up again. Why was why is it like that? That's what I covered in the first three parts, these sorts of things. Uh, now we are going to look very briefly at snipers. Okay, And I think we can accomplish a lot in a very short time in this video. So I don't need to spend a whole lot of time uh, doing this. This is good. So if we look at the newspaper, uh, this appears during the film, uh, uh, during August 20, uh, I'm sorry, October 24th, 1988 in the film. Remember in Donnie Darko, they enter the tangent universe on October 2nd and the buck rabbit, you know, says 28 days, six hours, 42 minutes, 12 seconds, Frank the rabbit. That is when the world will end. So you go from October 2nd, forward 28 days to October 30th when the tangent universe collapses upon itself with the risk of destroying the entire primary universe. Uh, sorry about the neighbor's dogs barking. <clears throat> but the, um, and so you have this collapse of the, the tangent universe there, which is like the end of the world. And, the, and it was a very dangerous event uh, that, you know, the stakes were very high. Well, anyways, along the way in the tangent universe, you have this Jim, Jim Cunningham uh, character being charged with child porn. We're going to talk about that, hopefully, God willing, in a future video. Uh, but on the newspaper, what doesn't get much attention is the skinhead sought in sniper shooting. In other words, a sniper is being sought to be captured on October 24th. Now, start on October 2nd, October 24th, skinhead sniper being sought. In 2002, a year after, a year and a half after uh, Donnie Darko was released, we had the Beltway Sniper terror in the U.S. You remember that if you were alive at the time. Uh, over the over During a period of a month, 10 people had been randomly gunned down and three critically injured while going about their everyday lives, mowing the lawn, pumping gas, shopping, reading a book. Among the victims was one of their own, the FBI, FBI intelligence analyst Linda Franklin, who was felled by a single bullet while leaving a home improvement store in Virginia with her husband. Probably targeted. She might have been the target for the whole <laughs> set of 10 attacks, uh, but 10 or 13 people being hit because you know she may have known something. She was an intelligence analyst they probably wanted to get rid of, and treating it like it was just one among many deaths uh, gives them some cover. But anyways, so she gets picked off along with the rest of these people in the sniper terror where the snipers are out there just picking people off randomly over a period of a month. When did it start? The timeline of terror began on October 2nd and went to October 24th. And that was when Muhammad and Malvo were arrested in Maryland, the two uh, alleged or convicted, I guess now, shooters, whether, whether they did it or not. Um, so what you have is, again, another instance of Donnie Darko, giving some predictive programming that puts us from October 2nd to October 24th, snipers. And there you have it. Now, uh, Donnie Darko also gave us the plane crashing into a building on October 2nd. But then the film, that was 9 minutes and 11 seconds in. That was their 9-11. 9-11 doomsday in Donnie Darko happened on their calendar date in the film on October 2nd, but it was 9-11 and the film was predictive programming for 9-11. And then we also had the, the Iris hurricane and all these things we've talked about in the previous parts. If you haven't watched those, you should go back and look at them to see how surprisingly accurate Donnie Darko, the film is as far as his predictive programming is concerned. But, um, but the point is it's not just this. We also have another instance here with the snipers, I think. I think it's a very pl a good case can be made that this whole October 2nd to October 24th date range for the 
timeline of terror for the Beltway snipers is not at all coincidental. It's probably not at all coincidental t- too that they killed an FBI an- intelligence analyst among the targets. Uh, she may have been the one that didn't want to that was going to out them on this as far as a, a conspiracy or something. Who knows? But um, but either way, so there you go. Donnie Darko again has more predictive programming. Uh, again, confirming that the date ranges and timelines and things that are presented in that film at least should raise red flags to us. They should make us, uh, they should at least grab our attention. We should take them seriously, right? Uh, Especially it's October 2nd right now, almost October 2nd uh, in the U.S. Where I'm at, it's October 2nd, just after midnight uh, while I'm recording this. So we're entering into this. It's October 2nd, 2020. And as we looked at in the previous video, in part three, I believe it was, or part two or part three, part two, um, we, we looked at uh, how 2001 was the first 9-11. And then they entered into the tangent unifor- universe, this period of time where they uh, that was unstable, but very dangerous. It was inevitably going to end. And... You have to exit just right, or we could destroy the whole world, right? And so this period from 2001 to 2020, we said, was like a, a period of time of the tangent universe. And exiting in 2020, they were going to do things that are very dangerous that run the risk of destroying the world, but they need to do it just right to not destroy the world, okay? Uh, to not bring the end of the universe with the collapse of the tangent universe, Um and so here we are, we're entering October 2nd to October 30th of this year, the year that's their exit. This is the, where the wormhole in 2001 ties up to the wormhole, supposedly, in 2020. This is the link that ends the tangent universe. So uh, this is the continuation of their 9-11. And, and this is where they make their aggressive move, begin their aggressive move to actually bring in their quote-unquote new world order something they began to move towards aggressively in 2001. Either way, so here we are, uh, 2020, October 2nd, and we're entering into this period, and we already had a kind of fulfillment from October 2nd to uh, October 24th, showing that the dates in Donnie Darko could actually be real and important dates uh, that have application, uh, maybe not just in 2002, but also this year. We'll see. Uh, All right, like, subscribe, share. Take care. Blessing.